Good morning, everyone. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. There was a moderate size earthquake there in the New Madrid fault system. A magnitude 3.8 that USGS said. I got a 3.9. There was actually three quakes um, back to back in this location. People that sent in felt reports to USGS said it was an intensity level 6, which means it was felt by all. Many were frightened. Some may have run outside. Uh, falling plaster chimneys. There would have been light damage. If you had damage there, what kind of damage did you have? Let me know. Um, 237 people said they felt it. Now, again, USGS said it was a 3.8. I got a 3.9. Um, we do have, what do we got here? Cottonwood Point Duck Club. Cottonwood Grove. So it is a spar sparsely populated area for the New Madrid. Um, but yet they had a lot of reports sent into USGS. No one sent in reports to EMSC. So for the last 24 hours, we have three earthquakes in this location. We got the 3.8, which was 4.5 miles in depth, followed by a 1.6, which was 3.5 miles in depth, and then a 2.0, 3.6 miles in depth. Using the stream view, here is the signature of the first earthquake. And I'll bring it over and you can see there was, oh, went off the line. A quick popping there and then another one. I come up with a magnitude 3.9. Um, what they did was they added them all together and it really rattled for quite a while. Look at that. Yeah, lots of rattling. Now, this earthquake was at 319 um, a.m. local time. There was another one before that at 705, but they're not reporting it. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.81. It is marked in red, so the computer did pick it up. You can see it right there. Um... They are reporting this small quake at um, 8.35 afterwards. That would be at universal time. So that would be at um, 3, uh, 35, 36 a.m. local time. They're saying it's a magnitude 1.6, but I don't get that. I get a magnitude 1.1. Let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah. Unless they end, let's do this. We'll put it there and then we'll end it there. Then I get a 1.42. Now this one right here, they are reporting um, at 8, oh, let's see, 836 universal time. So that would be 336 a.m. Um, they're saying that it's a magnitude 1.6, but I get a magnitude 1.52. I'll go to the signature. Um, you can see here where it kind of settled down a little bit. And there's the, uh, yeah, this is all fault movement. Yeah. The next one they are reporting is at, oh, 2 or 3.41 a.m. I get a magnitude 2.02. .02. And that is probably about the same what USGS is saying, a 2.0. Um, they just left off the uh, other little point. The next one I see, but they're not reporting it, at uh, 5.32 a.m. local time. That comes in as a magnitude 1.34. But it's probably a slow-moving tremor. Let me show you that. See that? And it continued for a little bit. And then we had some more popping. And some more. And then we got more popping right there. None of this, as you could 
see a minute ago is being reported let's see we got two small ones right there well that that could be um, a blast or um, possible landslide um, and then we got another one there slow moving tremor but the next earthquake that I see would probably be this one right here okay we'll go to the spectrogram not being reported that would have been at um, 9 14 a.m. it's currently almost 11 o'clock there and that one comes in as a magnitude 1.44 then we got another one that's a little bit bigger right there is anyone doing any uh, waste disposal water you know of the water there um, this comes in as a magnitude 1.78 and the reason I ask it, yeah, it's got an interesting signature. Could be from fracking, waste disposal, maybe someone's drilling a well, I don't know. Then we got another, sm oh, it's not going to let me see it, is it? No. Um, anyways, yeah, we got one there, another one there, another one there, and another one. A couple of smaller earthquakes, but... The program's not going to work for me. So let's, we got a lot of really small ones marked in red here. Let me see if I can, there you go. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Okay, we got another one. Look at that. Huh, now that's interesting. Whatever created that popping actually got so loud um, that the monitor couldn't pick it up. Hmm. As you know, the New Madrid fault system is an ancient rift. And, yeah, it, it, there is volcanism. Yeah. Um, let's go over it. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Interesting. A lot of popping going on before this 4.0. This normally only happens for volcanic um, screaming when the uh, volcano is releasing magma and all of a sudden it starts the screaming and it gets so loud you can't or the machinery I should say the monitors are not able to pick up the signature interesting yeah that's the first time I've seen that here in this location of New Madrid um, let's see it was probably going on between here. I got the right spot. No, okay, right there. Um, 309 Universal. So that would been have been 10:09 uh, p.m. last night, and it continued until we got the popping here of that one earthquake at about 2:05 a.m. Oh, we do have another one right there, I think. Or is that above it? No, right. Where is it? Okay, that's before. Okay. Um, so there's nothing until then we have the magnitude 4.0. Interesting. Yeah, so that lasted, oh, probably about six hours. Yeah, you can see all the, let me pull this over. All this over here. Yeah, look at all that. I'll just pull it over. Now that was at 324 Universal, which is about 10 p.m., 10, 1024 where I'm showing you now last night. Look at all that. I'll just keep pulling it over. Yeah, what was going on last night there? I don't see anything about severe weather. Um, very well could have been. Um, were you having bad weather last night? I would like to know. Yeah, this is this is really interesting. Yeah. These earthquakes were felt over a very large area. Uh, let's see. According to the local news, it was felt as Carbondale, Illinois. Let's see what we got. We got St. Louis. Uh, two responses from there. Intensity level two. Um, another two, another two, 
Let me zoom in up over here. Yeah, Scott Air Force Base. Wow. Um, were there drills going on last night? Was they practicing? Okay, let's go back down over here. Um, Murray, intensity level six. Um, Wrigley, intensity level five. Hornbeck, intensity level five. Down over here we got Oakland, intensity level five. Um, looks like the farthest report that was sent into USGS was Ripley, intensity level two. Let me double check here. Yeah. Oh, we got one over here. Okay. Um, Covington, intensity level two. You know, this area does have a lot of settlement and fill since the uh, New Madrid fault zone was trying to split apart, divide up the country. Um, so earthquakes would travel over a large area. Yeah, and this one definitely did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've had um, five X flares in the last three days. And I've talked about how these X flares can create weather, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, things like that. Let me bring this out. Yeah, this is the uh, Cottonwood Grove Fault. Yeah. So seeing how no one sent in any reports to EMSC to see what you guys actually experienced, let me know what you experienced. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for putting your comments down below. People really enjoy reading. How long did it last? What did the motion feel like? Things like that. And as always, be prepared for any type of disaster. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye. <music>